Welcome to this instructional video for the assembly of twin ferrule fittings in a pre-assembly stud. Collect all the tools you will need before you start. To avoid squashing the tube, we recommend the use of a proper cutting device. Deburr the tube ends internally and externally. Remove all sharp edges. Properly clean the tube, removing any residue. Double check the cut face. It must be an exact 90 degree angle. Check if the tube ends are cylindrical. Use a caliper and turn the tube by 360 degrees. Respect the Schwer fittings tube tolerances. They should be neither too high nor too low. Remove the protective packaging and dismantle the screw connection. Fix the pre-assembly stud to a vise. The pre-assembly stud has a bore on the side. Put the tube into the bore until it stops and mark it with a pen all around. This mark will later show you if the tube fully sits in the body. It should only be visible after the complete assembly. Make sure all single items are in the right order. The clamping edges are showing towards the cone of the stud. The bigger diameters of the rings are pointing to the direction of the nut. Insert the tube into the stud until it fully sits on the ground. Tighten the nut finger tight. Check with the mark that the tube is fully fitted in the stud. The mark should not be visible at this stage. Mark the nut as well as the tube in a visible position. We recommend the 6 o'clock position. Now tighten the nut by making one turn. Tightening the nut causes the front and back ferrules to grip the tube. Loosen the nut with a spanner. Check the assembled rings for damages on the cones, inside and out. The two rings may now rotate. Moving them back and forth should not be possible. Fix the coupling body with the hexagon into a vise. Insert the pre-assembled tube with nut and ferrules into the body until the front ferrule fully fits into the body. Tighten the nut by hand finger tight. Mark the nut as well as the tube in a visible position. We recommend the 6 o'clock position. Use a spanner and turn the nut for a quarter turn until you notice an increase in the required force. Attention, do not over tighten. Using too much force may cause leakages. The coupling is now ready for use. 